And here we are at the classic Toy Drive Chevys and Car Show. Well, here we have. Here we This is Dennis Bird. And? Marlene Bird. How did you guys feel hosting such a big car show? Well, we've been doing it for 21 years now, and this is our 21st year doing this thing. And as you can see, everybody's having a great time. We have over 400 cars here again, and uh, for all for charity. Uh, it's Toy and Food Drive Car Show, started in 1989 for uh, the Loma Prieta earthquake victims. And this year, it's another successful. We were worried about it yesterday, a lot of rain, cold weather. We had over, like Donna said, over 400 cars today. Over 1,250 brand new toys for charity, probably 8,000 pounds of food. We know we sold 600 hot dogs, they're just calling the, the last ones available. So it's a great day, great turnout. And what made you guys start this car show? Well, we got, uh, they started it 21 years ago for the 1989 earthquake victims. And there was a lot of people there that were in need. And a bunch of guys just got together and said, you know, we need to start a toy and food drive for the people in need. And it just grew every single year. Every year it grows. Every year. Yep. We have a lot of club members. It takes a lot of people to put this on. The church is a wonderful host. They support us. We couldn't do it. The event is huge. We couldn't do it without a a welcome sponsor. So a lot of people. Okay, well thank you very much. You heard it from them. Here we have Dennis's car, a 1955 excuse me, Chevy. What can you tell us about your car? Well you guys saw it last year here and last year it was almost a stock car. Uh, I had a new chassis put underneath it and I built a new motor and put the motor and a new transmission in it. And uh, so this is, I uh, just got back on Wednesday, so now it's all finished and it's probably, this is the car I've been dreaming about all along. And you created the whole motor by yourself? Yes, I did. I built the motor and the transmission for it and uh, they took it up to Steve's Auto Restorations and they put an Art Morrison chassis underneath it and uh, now it's all back like a brand new car. Wow. How do you feel driving this car out the street? Oh, it's great. It, you know, the old suspensions and the old cars were nice, but now the stopping power and the turning power, the new technology that's come through is just great. So this car is like sitting in a 55 Chevy body, but driving a Corvette, okay, because it handles so well. Wow, thank you very much. This is a beautiful car. The interior is wonderful. It's leather, and just like Dennis said, he built it all on his own. And here we have Steve. And what car are you driving? It's a replica Cobra 1965. Wow, how do you feel driving this car out on the street? Oh, it's awesome. I love it. Right. Thank you. All right, thanks. And here we have Hi there. I'm Curtis. Curtis, what car are you driving? This is a Factory 5 Racing replica of a Cobra. Wow, how do you feel driving this car out on the street? Oh, I love it. Every day I get it. Every chance I get. Yeah, you get attention a lot? Oh, yeah. A lot of attention. All right, thank you very much. And here, this car pulling up is from the Vijitos Car Club. And here we have uh, Captain Jeff Baroni. Captain Jeff, how do you feel about your firefighter truck? Uh, I think it's great. It's a uh, great support of the San Jose Sharks. Uh, started about 1998 with a couple individuals from our department who decided it'd be a good thing. They got uh, support from the Sharks Foundation and from our department and from our muster team. And from there we uh, de built this rig up. It's a 1983 Mac. And, uh, Basically, uh, it took about two years to complete this project, and this is what we uh, ended up with. And how do you feel driving this out on the street? Oh, it's a lot of fun. We get uh, a lot of uh, responses from people. They're all pretty positive, and uh, it's a lot of fun, especially during Sharks games and after Sharks games driving around downtown. It's a real blast. So, so can you give us some details on your truck? Yes. Uh, like I said, back in 1998, to, to get a Shark engine, uh, basically, a lot of design went into it. Uh, fire engineer Tony, uh, firefighter Tony Ojeda was uh, paramount in doing that, and a lot of the design came from him. And we got a, a lot of uh, support 
from uh, people within the community uh, with painting and design uh, and basically went out uh, and had a lot of the uh, materials that were put on you know through contracts and 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 such but uh, what we've ended up with was the you know the colors from the the shark team uh, with a lot of different uh, add-ons on the original equipment of the fire engine where we have the shark fins we have shark eyes we have blinkers that are sharks we have the big shark teeth in the front and the whole side of the uh, apparatus is a shark body along the back if you look from the back you'll see the the back end of a shark so it's just kind of uh, neat the, the the community likes it the, the kids love it and it's just a real fun piece of equipment. Thank you very much. Here is... Bob DeCare. What can you tell us about your car? Uh, it's definitely red. It's a 1935-36 Auburn Boattail Speedster. Um, it's a reproduction car or kit car, I guess, if that's what you wanted to call it. Uh, had the car about 25 years, maybe. Um, I'm not sure what else I can tell you. How long did it take you to fix it up? Uh, it's been running for about the last five years. Other than that, it was just kind of waiting its turn, sitting in the shop. Wow, how do you feel driving this car out on the street? I like it. Yeah. Do you okay. get a lot of attention? Uh, lots. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. And here we have a lineup of beautiful classic cars driving by. Each of them is unique in their own special way and they're all different kinds of years. Upcoming, we have a 57 Chevy. It's a baby blue color, and obviously you can tell that these people take a lot of care of their cars. They bring out the cars every year to the car shows, they bring them to the toy drives, they bring them to the turkey drives, to any kind of drive to support the community, and they always help their wonderful, beautiful looking cars, like this red truck. Just look at it, it's a classic. And rolling up, here comes another classic, beautiful ruby car and our unforgettable, beautiful Corvettes. Look at them, shy. And we have more to show off. Last but not least, we got our motorcycles. They've always rolling up, always, look. Classic, beautiful bikes. Rolling up here, we have another classic, beautiful antique. And here we have a beautiful black 27T Tracker Racer. This car is a classic. Just look at it. It shines as the sun, sun sparkles on it. Wow, beautiful car. Here we have a beautiful 1923 Ford. Check out the engine, check out the color, check out the wheels. It's a beautiful classic car. Here at the Chevy Toy Drive, as you can see, they've collected many, many toys. And here we have a young boy that is going to take home a football for Christmas. Thank you, Chevy Toy Drive. All of these are wonderful toys for charity and for those kids that are going to want a toy on Christmas Eve. We cannot forget the beautiful, wonderful bikes that every kid is going to want for Christmas. And here we have the winner of the grand prize. Your name is? Nancy Daves. And how do you feel about winning? This is great. Love did you, it. What did you end up winning? This is uh, three nights at the um, Hot August Nights that we stay and, and room and dinner and everything. So cool. Who are you taking with you? Uh, my husband and my son. Are you excited? Oh, I'm really excited. This is great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Here we have the owner of this beautiful purple car. What's your name? Chet Gady. Chet, what can you tell us about your car? Well, I got it back in uh, the hot August nights over up in Pleasanton uh, about three years ago. A gentleman from Oregon brought it down there, and, and uh, at that time I had a 33 Ford Coupe that I really loved, and he seen my car and he wanted it real bad. And uh, 
he kept asking me if I would make a trade with him, and I said, no, I didn't really want to do that because I really liked my car and I, I enjoyed it. And uh, so then finally I, he says, well, come on over, take a look at it, take it for a drive, see what you think. So I finally did and went over there, and it's been a beautiful car, and we've been driving it ever since. And it already came like this, purple? Yes, it did, yeah. What attracted you to this car the most? Uh, well, just the, the, the body lines and the style of it and everything, and uh, of course the color too attracts a lot of people too, so yeah, it's been a real real good driver too. How do you feel driving this car? Oh, I love it. Yeah, I, I take it everywhere. We go down to Pismo Beach and, uh, you know, all the shows on all the, all the northern coast take, you know, shows that we have up there, we go up there too, so we have a lot of fun with it, meeting a lot of nice people and having a very good time with it. Okay, tell us about the car. What year is it? It's a 1935 Chevy sedan. Okay. Thank you very much. Here is Peter Sands. What can you tell us about your motor, Peter? It's a 1965 Triumph TR6. Um, it's got a 1946 aerial front end. Uh, made a lot of the parts myself out of copper and brass. Wow, so you put a lot of sweat into this? Oh yeah, oh yeah, a lot of time, um, close to a year. Wow, do you get a lot of attention? Oh yeah, whenever I take it out, um, it is the center of attention for sure. What, ah, what do I like the most? Ah, that it's fast and it handles well. That's great. And Mon and Brando rode one of these bikes in the movie, The Wild One, The Triumph. In this wonderful time of warmth and giving, Dennis and Marlene have reached out to the community by holding, hosting this toy drive in a car show. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Marlene. Thank you. Any words would you like to say? Yes, I'd like to thank our whole club. If it wasn't for the club and the church, this event would never have happened, and we wouldn't be able to help people in the community as we're doing. So a lot of, a lot of thanks goes out to the church and to the rest and of the members of our club. And especially Pastor Dave Hyme and his wife Beverly Hyme. As a matter of fact... Let's, let's get Beverly over here. Bev Hello, Beverly. Dennis and Marlene here have thanked you. Have you. Do you have any words you'd like to say? The San Jose Classic Car Show, Chevy Show, is incredible. The team of people and the heart that they have and what they do all year long to prepare for a day like this to bring toys and food to give to the unfortunate people at Christmas. We're so extremely grateful that we've been favored with the opportunity to host them here, and we look forward to doing it every year. You bet. <laughs> you bet. All right, thank you very much. Stay tuned for Mars Spotlight TV. I'm Marta Lucia.